Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing how to download Wave, the number one PC executor. First, make sure to grab a license at the first link in the description. To use Wave, you must have a license. This is the cheapest place to get Wave, so make sure you check it out. To start downloading Wave, go to getwave.gg and click download. Then go to blockstrap.org and also download and install Blockstrap. Make sure to only download these from verified suppliers. I will have trusted links to download both of them in the description. If you have any issues while using Wave, I'll make sure to link a document that has all the known error codes and the fixes for them. If you need any other help, then ask one of the staff in the Discord. In some cases, when you download Wave, it may flag it as a virus. You could ignore that, just make sure to turn off your antivirus when downloading. Now that everything is installed, we can go ahead and open Wave. Now you can sign up with any email you want. If you are having issues when signing up or logging in, make sure to turn on a VPN like ProtonVPN. Now that you are signed in, go to the bottom left and click the settings icon. Now, using the license you purchased, paste that in the license key section. Now you should be good to go. Open up Roblox on the app or the browser and find whatever game you want to play. You should see a block strap screen while you're loading in. This means that it was correctly downloaded. Once you are in the game, you can reopen up Wave and there should be a green play button. You hit that to execute your script. Now that everything's working, I'll show you how to use multiple accounts at once with Roblox Account Manager. I'll put the link to download this in the description. Log all the accounts you want to use into the app, and then launch them all at the same time. Once they are all in game, you will be able to access them and use different scripts for them. You can do this on as many accounts as you would like. You can also control the performance. So if you are trying to AFK on a lot of accounts overnight, then you don't have to worry about your PC running bad. Now that I'm in game, here's how you do it. This is through the client manager on the left. Uncheck the boxes of the ones that you don't want to execute on. Then hit the green play button when you are ready to execute. Now I'll show you how to import scripts. First search wave in the search bar. Then hit open file location. And then right click wave and hit open file location again. This should bring you to the wave section. Open the scripts folder, right click, go to new and hit new text document. Now open the document, paste whatever script that you'd like to use. I'll be using a blade ball script as an example. Once you're done, hit file, save, and then go back to the scripts folder and rename the text document to whatever you'd like it to be. This is how it will appear in the workspace in Wave. To auto execute, right click the script and click copy. Go back to the Wave section and paste it in the auto execute folder. Now restart Wave. Next time you load up your game, the script will automatically execute into the game. As you can see here, the script is now saved in my workspace. Now whenever I click on it, it'll automatically be there. Any issues, I'll have the fixes in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to get Wave in the link in the description.